Hello and welcome to this Commerzbank webcast. The Americans will elect their new president in less than three months. Donald Trump would probably be what many see in the Brexit, an uncertainty shock. After all, Trump would change US policy massively. As a dedicated protectionist, he would above all restrict free trade. And this would be a huge problem, especially for the German economy. After his slip-ups and blunders, many expect Trump to lose the elections. And in fact, he's lagging behind Hillary Clinton in the polls. But it is by no means true that Trump doesn't stand a chance. First, Trump mobilizes his supporters like almost no other US politician. Secondly, the presidential elections will be decided in a few hotly contested swing states, for which the election outcome is difficult to forecast. Third. Less well-known candidates of the Libertarians and the Green Party could snatch the crucial votes away from Trump or Clinton and tip the scales in the election. Like in 2000, when consumer protection law Ralph Nader ruined the victory of Democrat Al Gore. Therefore, we should not write off Trump. Some take comfort on the parallels between Trump and former President Ronald Reagan. But we doubt that a President Trump would revive the US economy like Reagan did in the 1980s. After all, Reagan had a largely consistent free market economic program. And if Trump is defeated in the election, this will not mean that, it, uh, that his ideas have been rejected once and for all. Instead, especially the protectionism he propagates should continue influencing US policy. After all, Hillary Clinton has now also distanced herself from the transatlantic free trade agreement TTIP. Thank you for listening. For more information, please see our Week in Focus.